everyone, and welcome to the second episode of Cyber Spotlight. Today we have Ty Miller from Threat Intelligence. Hi, Ty. Hey there. Thank you for joining me. Thanks for having me. Ty is the CEO of Threat Intelligence, who are also a Stone and Chalk resident. So tell me more Indeed. about Threat Intelligence, Ty. Yeah, so Threat Intelligence uh, has been around for about 10 years so far. And um, basically, we've got two parts of the business. One is the services, where we do have an A-list team of guys, very experienced, you know, typically 15 to 20 years experience each, mm -hmm. and um, cover, you know, things like penetration testing, incident response, managed services, those sort of things. But the other side of our business is uh, that we've developed the world's first security automation cloud mm -hmm. um, to be able to deliver automated uh, specialist capabilities to to organizations to be able to really uh, augment their team and secure and automate you know a lot of their their security basically to try and you know plug a lot of the holes that that they have and um, mm -hmm. sort of augment you know the minimal security teams that they've got yeah cool all right I love automation um, a tiny <laughs> Everyone bit of does. A, a tiny bit of a nerd um, but you know uh, the, the question I have for you which I ask um, others why? Why did threat intelligence come about and how did okay. it come about? Yeah, look, I mean, I've been in, uh, basically started my whole career in security from, mm -hmm. from day one and uh, very early on got into the uh, penetration testing industry when there was only a, a couple of companies around and so got very uh, involved with Black Hat. Um, so we've been running training at Black Hat for the last 10 years, so we're the only company in Australia who runs uh, training over at Black Hat for, for that long, um, been presenting for even longer than that. Mm -hmm. But um, basically, you know, throughout the 2000s, you know, sort of went through and everything was getting more and more malicious. Um, and really, there wasn't a lot of innovation going on in, in the security space. And I could just see that, you know, it was the threat landscape was getting more malicious um, even back then, let alone today with uh, COVID sort of amplifying everything. Mm -hmm. um, but really, there wasn't, there wasn't the skills and the capabilities you know, back then to, to even be able to mitigate, you know, a lot of them. So at, at Black Hat, uh, across our uh, US and our, our Europe uh, training, I actually uh, um, asked um, all of our students, I think uh, that year there was about 150 students or so, you know, how many of them could actually do an incident response engagement end to end um, to see, just to demonstrate the capability or the lack of capability in the market. Um, and not a single one of those 150 Black Hat students could even do um, an end-to-end -end incident response or a penetration test. And all of these deep technical capabilities that every organisation needs, mm -hmm. none of them could do it. Um, so ultimately, the, the reason why I started Threat Intelligence was to be able to pull together that A-list team, automate their uh, and codify their security knowledge and their experience into automation or what we call uh, on-demand specialist security capabilities mm -hmm. and actually publish that to the marketplace so that everyone has access to it mm -hmm. and be able to do that on demand. Um, so we're just trying to solve that problem of the lack of skills and the lack of resources mm -hmm. in the market mm -hmm. and be able to get that on demand as you need it yeah. um, in a cost effective way. Awesome. Um, so speaking of costs, for a business, what roughly what are you know what are some costs that you'd be saving like a rough mm. estimate? Ah, look, I mean, we can. It really depends on the organisation, mm. but the way that uh, the biggest um, way that you can look at the cost savings is around FTE savings. Mm -hmm. So, if you're doing, if you look at it from a team augmentation through security automation capability, because mm -hmm. ultimately that's what you're doing. You've got your security team. They may be, you know, you might have a one or two guys or five guys, depending upon the size of the organisation. If you've got five, you're pretty lucky these days. Mm -hmm. um, but being able to 
uh, automate what they're doing so that they're not doing mundane stuff mm -hmm. every day. Mm -hmm. um, the, that's the other part of the platform. It actually increases job satisfaction by allowing these guys to automate their mundane stuff and actually do cool stuff and, yep. and keep building on the business rather than just churning away every day. Mm -hmm. And that's another challenge that we find our, our uh, clients actually really enjoy the platform is to maintain the interest in their teams. Mm -hmm. um, so when you look at it from automating your existing team but also extending them through both uh, automation as well as um, wrapping services around that to mm -hmm. extend the team you start very quickly you know adding up one two three four five FTEs mm -hmm. and you basically multiply out the savings yeah. from that to be able to get um, the savings from the organization the other part beyond the FTEs is when you look at things like um, uh, traditional services that you would get from a security consultancy like ours mm -hmm. that you know is, is obviously multiples of an FTE um, for that period of time mm -hmm. and you know that can be very expensive so um, when you can start automating those capabilities in-house mm -hmm. you actually start saving significant amounts by not having to use third-party providers mm -hmm. which sounds like I'm shooting myself in the foot no, on one side of the business but <laughs> you know you you it's really about um, you know, solving a key problem for mm. the industry, yeah. um, which is a lack of resources and lack of skills and time to be able to, you know, really secure your organisation. Yeah, absolutely. You have really hit the nail on the mm. head because lack of resources. I've said this so many times that cybersecurity does tend to unfortunately fall to the very bottom of that list yep. of priorities that any business has. Well, it's a cost. Yeah. Right. So yep. when you look at it from a cost perspective, there's always going to have, you know. Uh, tight controls around your security budgets. Mm -hmm. You know, to be able to get an FTE within your security team, obviously there's cost associated with that, but that's a permanent cost, mm -hmm. right? You, unless you're going to start, you know, sacking people, mm -hmm. um, which none of us want to happen, but, you know, that's permanent liability for the business going forwards. Whereas when you have a look at it from a modular uh, security automation capability, mm -hmm. you can actually get those uh, capabilities into the team on a subscription basis. So that also works both with CapEx and OpEx. Mm -hmm. You can sort of mm -hmm. shuffle budgets around, which mm -hmm. makes it nice. Um, but, you know, if you stop needing a particular capability, you just get rid of it. Right. You know, so it's very flexible and, and allows you to sort of build out that team without getting that same sort of liability mm -hmm. uh, built into the business. Awesome. Um, now, Ty, tell me about the Evolve platform. What's that yeah. all about? So Evolve, uh, as I mentioned, is the world's first security automation cloud mm -hmm. and uh, it's designed to... So uh, let me, wait, let's <coughs> give yeah. that the respect it deserves. Yeah. World's first. Yes. Right so, here from New South Wales. From New South Wales. So World first. So we actually uh, did a... <laughs> thank you for... You're welcome. You know, I, I'm used to just throwing that out there these yeah, days, but, no, but it, it really is it's, a it's big thing. It's great because, so. you know, it, it's very important to recognise the fact that <coughs> we have mm. world-leading capabilities here in New South Wales, yep. and that's something for us all to be very proud of. And for you especially, you need yep. to scream thank those you. words out because <laughs> a world first is a world first, yep. and you need and to be very proud of that. You know what? Like, it's, uh, it's really exciting when we present these to... Um, you know, our clients or to um, potential clients and we go through the capabilities and they're like, uh, there's nothing like this mm -hmm. on the market, mm -hmm. you know, even with the big players. Yep. And it's like, yeah, I know that. Um, you know, and so it's, it's exciting to sort of hear that come back from mm -hmm. clients that they think, they think the same thing. You know, you can get wrapped up yeah. in well, your you own can. platform. You can, and, and we've spoken quite a few times mm. and... You, you know, you mentioned the world first thing, mm. but you're just kind of like, oh, yeah, world first. Because for you, it's yeah. business as usual. It is. Right? Yeah. But a world first is just that. Yeah. And so you really need to shine that light on it. And that's why we're putting a spotlight on threat intelligence, because yeah. they're doing amazing things. So we... Um yeah, coming back to that, we yeah. uh, did a global launch of Evolve uh, in 2018 at Black Hat USA, so mm -hmm. we were gold sponsors over there and mm -hmm. had a nice big booth, the same sizes like Splunk and uh, Kaspersky yep. and uh, Trustwave and all those sort of guys. Yep. Um, so really um, pushing hard from, a, um, you know, to, to break out of not just 
New South Wales, but also mm -hmm. Australia and, and into mm -hmm. the global market as Fantastic. well. Fantastic. So. Yeah. So that's actually my next question. Who are some of your, um, well, not who, but what are some global markets that you've um, made grounds in? Yeah, so um, obviously uh, Australia, we've made significant headway in, in locally. Mm -hmm. uh, we've, there was always from day one in the business that it was, it was going to be a global platform. So yeah. we've got regions for Australia, the US and, and Europe being a, mm -hmm. a cloud. Mm -hmm. um, and so internationally, uh, we've made some headway into North America. So mm -hmm. we've got a, a reseller and a client. Um, so he's, he's two in one. Um, uh, they uh, resell to their clients as well as actually uh, deliver their security services um, in North America right. um, utilizing Evolve. And yeah, he recently gave us some feedback saying that, you know, I've, I've been able, the only way I've been able to expand my business mm -hmm. and be able to take on the amount of work that we take on is through Evolve. Yeah. Um, to be able, and this is a security company, security managed services company in North America, wow. um, to be able to order. Um, a lot of the capabilities that he would have usually had to go out and hire a whole team to do, yeah. which is great. Um, we've had uh, uh, a lot of interest recently uh, in Singapore and uh, Asia, mm -hmm. and so we've recently signed up a distributor in um, in Singapore, and they're really uh, running hard into the Singapore market. Mm -hmm. uh, and we're also recently just uh, started a program with Austrade mm -hmm. and. Um, they'll be helping us push into three different regions um, around the world, um, including uh, Europe, North America, and uh, again, further into Singapore as an expansion into Asia. Amazing, amazing. Yeah. I'm so proud of you guys. Like, that's really <laughs> fantastic. Um, now, let's talk about your customers. Typically, mm -hmm. who are your customers? You know, what are their compositions and wh yep. what do they look for? Okay, so so we have customers across uh, every segment, mm -hmm. um, and they also range from, you know, typically uh, SMBs through to enterprise and government. Mm -hmm. So, you know, there's some, you know, in pharmaceutical companies who, uh, you know, they're they're a small team but a big company. Yes. Um, and so, they don't have a security. Um, team at all. Mm -hmm. So to be able to automate even things like orchestrating security infrastructure, um, things like seams and DNS sinkholes with automated cyber threat intelligence mm -hmm. integration through an automated penetration testing, they can do. we can do that for them as a managed service through the platform because they don't even have the team to yeah. be able to run the platform, mm -hmm. um, which is ironic that yeah. you don't have t time yeah. to run automation. But, um, <laughs> Aren't you supposed to just go and buy a software off, off a store shelf and that's yeah. supposed to do all of it for you? Isn't that's that, right. Isn't well, that how it goes? That's the plan we're working towards. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But um, yeah, that goes right through to, uh, you know, from New South Wales, there's a bunch of critical infrastructure providers on there using different capabilities in, in Evolve as well as numerous other companies, um, as well as right through to um, uh, national and global Australian organisations mm -hmm. uh, who are utilising it, mm -hmm. as well as uh, federal government as well. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, look, one of, from, uh, one of the really interesting things that we've been able to do uh, with Evolve over the last year since COVID sort of kicked in, we've seen a lot of uh, incident response um, engagements with basically back-to-back -back mm -hmm. companies and major national, uh, multinational Australian organisations mm -hmm. being targeted um, by you know international cybercrime groups and just shutting down down their business in an instant. Yeah. And um, so from a from a services delivery perspective, what Evolve's been able to let us do is really transform um, the way we actually deliver our services, mm -hmm. because what it means is um, that. You know, if you look at incident response, how you do it traditionally, mm -hmm. um, you know, you'd, you'd get a call, you'd be there the next day with a whole bunch of hard drives, plugging them into service and collecting evidence. And mm -hmm. depending upon the size of the breach, that might take a couple of days. Mm -hmm. You have to then go analyze it. Um, and, and it's quite limited because it's very physical. Um, it's not very automated. Mm -hmm. Whereas now we're able to, within four hours, 
get remote access to the environment through virtual appliance mm -hmm. and then be able to roll out things like automated internal and external penetration testing to identify exploitable vulnerabilities to see how the attacker might have gotten in, mm -hmm. search through billions of lost passwords mm -hmm. or stolen passwords mm -hmm. to see what accounts we need to focus on, automatically collect evidence from all of their machines, everything from memory dumps to mm -hmm. master file tables, logs, all those sort of things, um, have them, you know, pulled out across hundreds of systems globally and, and sucked into the platform, um, be able to orchestrate you know, a SIEM solution and automatically deploy EDR agents across their environment to get really in-depth insights into the activities going on. Mm -hmm. And that can happen within four hours. That's I mean, we can actually get it uh, orchestrated in 20 minutes. Wow. Um, the four hours tends to come down to waiting for the client to actually give us accounts to be able to hook into some of the systems for IR. Wow. So when you look at it from that capability, you, you, you know, taking a week that doesn't even do half of that stuff mm -hmm. to having that ready in 20 minutes. Yeah. You know, so that's the real value that we've, we've seen from both for our clients yeah. um, as well as, uh, you know, our services and just the way that you can change the delivery of your services to really help and enhance... Um, you know, organisations, security postures, um, because you know when you when you also get that in place, mm -hmm. you haven't just done incident response; you've actually lifted their security posture significantly mm -hmm. within the space of a number of hours. Yeah, amazing. And look, if time is money, time when you're under cyber attack mm -hmm. is invaluable. So yeah, that's absolutely. fantastic to know yep. that you do it in such a timely manner. Now, my last question, if I yep. had a lovely cyber wand <clears throat> and I yep. could wave it and grant you one wish, cybersecurity wish, either for your business or for cybersecurity yep. capability right around the world, what would it be? Look, I think um, obviously biased in my, my uh, what I'd want out of this, mm -hmm. but um, you know, I've really, and it comes back to why I started the business in the first place, which was to solve the problem of uh, being able to enable organisations to secure themselves mm -hmm. um, and be able to do that in a really effective manner. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I'd love to be able to. Um, you know, get Evolve rolled out uh, globally mm -hmm. um, to, you know, hundreds and hundreds or thousands of organisations just to be able to help them secure themselves. Yeah. You know, like the, the threat landscape um, is just going to get worse and worse and worse. Yeah. Um, it hasn't slowed down in the last 20 years. Mm -hmm. um, you know, like I wanted to start the company, uh, you know, um, towards the end of uh, the 2000s because it was so malicious back then. That was sort of around the whole period of Anonymous and LolSec and those sort of guys mm -hmm. um, or, or groups. And it was bad enough back then. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's just another level now and it's yeah. going to be another level in the next five years. So, mm -hmm. you know, it's a really key time in the industry that um, I'd really love to be able to enable companies to be able to protect themselves and mm -hmm. prevent security breaches and to be able to contain them really quickly mm -hmm. because the it's really distressing to see organisations suffer mm -hmm. when they suffer a security breach and we see it all the time and yeah. um, you know it would be great to to help them prevent that um, impact and, and that emotional damage that they uh, feel. I have faith in you Ty, I think Thank you, you can do it. Um, and that is Threat Intelligence with their world first Evolve um, platform, which uh, is right here from New South Wales, Australia. Yep. And it's a world first and it's going to aim to keep the entire world <laughs> safe Hopefully and cyber day. secure. Wonderful. Thank you so awesome. much for your time. Thanks for having me.